Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I know I have been MIA for the past few weeks. Life has just been a little bit crazy. I uh, had my new boss start um, back towards the end of October and trying to get him acclimated and all the stuff that he needs at work and then just you know life has been a little bit crazy here oh anyway um yeah i won't get into all that but <laughs> things have just been a little bit of nuts and this is a, a custom that i've been working on for you know off and on for over a month now um and my customer has been patiently patiently waiting waiting on me but i finally finished it and I, i'm really happy with the way it turned out so she wanted me to do a cookbook uh, for her daughter and she, they had found this uh, image. That, well, not this image, but I think they found a, found a vintage tray that had this image on it. So I told her, I said, well, I can either use that one, I said, or I can try, you know, I'll attempt to paint it. And of course, you know, it's not identical. I couldn't get all the details in here, but I did the best I could. And I really, I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I like it. I hope she likes it. So um, this was, and I, I painted it, um, you know, I used some, some pen and ink and acrylic but I did it on like a piece of watercolor paper and then I coated it with a gel medium. So hopefully that will protect it. Um, you know, since I guess she'll be using it in and out of the kitchen. So she might just not want to leave the book, <laughs> you know, sitting near whatever she's cooking. But um, anyway, I like the way it turned out. So I just used an old Betty Crocker cookbook and I think this one was maybe from the 70s. And... Um, I left the back, you know, I, I pieced some gingham pieces together in the colors I thought that would go. I tried to keep it this sort of bright, um, these sort of bright colors, but there's vintage stuff mixed in as well. So anyway, it's, it's chunky. It's full. There's a lot of stuff stuffed in here that, um, she can, you know, take out, move around, you know, however she wants. And then I just made this little tassel that just clips on here. Just thought it was really cute. I tried to keep it fairly simple. I just used some um, seam binding and some fabric strips. And then I clipped on like this little teapot and there's a little spoon right here. And just a little, um, just like a little charm that came off a bracelet. And then I had this little, um, these little buttons that I purchased from Michelle Scott, and there's this little cow in there. And then there's this little chicken. There's a little chicken in here somewhere. Where's the little chicken? There it is. This little chicken button right here. And I just did, you know, just the Rick Rack and the Pom Pom and a couple of little buttons, um, little bead. And then I've got, so this just um, clips on here so she can move it, you know, and use it somewhere else. And um, I put some other little things, and I'm probably gonna add a few more things to this, just some other little things if she wants to add more to that. There's a whole, um, there's a whole stack of goodies that, um, you know, fabric pieces and more recipes and some of the scraps left over. Just a whole bunch of stuff, some little bags that she can use <clears throat> in the journal and then I also, I'm um, gonna include this little paper clip that's got the little cup on it. So I think this will be really cute in here somewhere. So anyway, let me say before I talk for half an hour. So I covered the inside with this paper, which I thought was really cool. I love these colors. I tried to stick to, you know, sort of that red, teal, yellow, you know, green sort of mix and, um. So this was a piece, this was a vintage a kitchen towel that came in those country kits that I bought from Renee a while back. So there's this piece on, and then there's another pocket on the back. And then I had made a bunch of little pockets from recipe pages, and I used some of them in here. But I gave her some extras if she wants to put 
um, use more of those. Some recipe cards that came out of the little um, sheets that I used in here. And I'm including this. Um, this is actually not the one that was in this book. It was in another, an older cookbook along with the tabs that are in this one didn't come out of this. It came out of an older one, but it's that pink color. I thought it went really well. So I'm gonna leave this in here for her to use as a guide if she wants to add other pages. And then I took just some graph paper and I just kind of made a little tablet, you know, with several pieces of graph paper as like a little notepad. And, um, you know, she can, when she uses it up, she can just keep them in there. Or she can tear notes off. And I just simply took a little scrap of paper and folded it over and stitched it across the top. So there's one of these in the back as well. So all that goes in this pocket right here. And I mean, I'm, I put stuff in every pocket in here. Um, so I made a couple of tab pages like this. This one I collage just to give her an idea of what she can do. I collaged this one with some old recipe pages from different books and then took some little scrap pieces of scrapbook paper, some fabric, and a couple of stickers. And then I just stitched, you know, glued it and then just kind of stitched across here and all the way around that to make a really cool collage little sheet. And then I left it plain on the back so she could write on here, put a recipe on here. Um, you know, scrapbook paper and then these are pieces from that scrapbook line that are like Project Life sort of cards or little embellishments. And I just stitched, I don't know if the stitching will show up because I did the stitching in white. So I just stitched that on and that actually would serve as a tuck spot as well. And then I put all of these pages in here because I love the coloring. I thought the colors just went really well and I love these images. I did not alter these in any way. Um, she can, I figured I would let her do what she wanted to do with these if she wanted to use these as the actual tabs in her book or if she wants to do something else with them. Uh, this is a recipe printable I found. Um, I put like three of these in here, left the back plain. This I thought was really cool. This came from uh, a wallpaper sample thing that I had purchased from Johnny over at Junk Journal Shop. And I love this. Um, of course, this is an updated, I think, updated version of vintage um, kitchen, sort of. But I thought that looked pretty cool in here. And this is a nice, sturdy piece. Um, and she can leave this, or she can put a tab on it. She can make pockets out of it. She can make tags, whatever she wants to do. I really I try to embellish in here, but not overdo it so that you know, she can do what she wants to. So here's one of those little pockets that I made, okay, out of the recipe pages. And then I just did a little cluster here and stitched that across. Um, and then put a little, there's a little tag in here and these came from the graphics fairy. So that goes in there, but I also just glued it here. So this serves as a tuck spot back here as well. So there's plenty of um, tuck spots and pockets and writing space. Here I made, um, I know I showed y'all in some of my embellishments before where I take the, the scrap pieces and just fold them over and do this little flip. So just made a couple of these, you know, added some stickers and some fabric and stitched across. And she can, um, if she wants to, she can add I thought about making other little note pages in here, but then I thought, well, no, she can just glue recipes in here or whatever she wants. You know, she has pictures of family or, um, you know, however she wants to use it. So, like I said, I tried to give her plenty of things as possibilities to do in here. Here, I just did a little pocket, stitched around it and glued it in and then put, made a little tag here that has all the measurements on it. Um, this is a little sort of mason jar note that came out of a kit I bought from Rosemary over a year ago that I never made that mason jar kit. So I pulled some of those things from there. This is just a little recipe I had and some recipe cards. So lots of, lots of fun stuff in here. 
uh, all cooking and recipe related, of course. Um, recipe cards in here. I use these from a vintage cookbook. And again, um, when I've used them in the past, I've stitched at the top and the bottom just so they don't come apart. More recipe cards. Some of these came from the paper line that I had purchased. Um, I bought a couple of things like that because I wanted to do some books like this. Another tab. This is from a vintage recipe book. I just put that page in there. I love the colors in this. Here's another pocket that I made out of uh, recipe book pages. And of course, this was a smaller book. So it's a pocket here, and you just kind of folded it up. And like, I really did try to pay attention to things that she can learn if she's new to cooking. Like this is a beef roast timetable. So it tells you um, degrees and minutes to cook and the thermometer and all that. So I really tried to make it um, where she could see those things. And then these are just some little um, printables from the paper. Another little tag from Graphics Fairy. This actually came out of, this is a little recipe card from um, <clears throat> Rosemary's kit that I bought. And I thought this was kind of cool. This was actually in one of the cookbooks that I bought, and I think it came from Renee, there were a couple of things like this, and I stitched one on another page, but um, I just thought that was kind of cool. Put that in there, it's definitely vintage. So it's a, good, it's a good mix of vintage items and newer things. And then um, this is on one of my uh, mixed media tea dye pages. <clears throat> so see, here's the veal on this side. Another recipe card, just a little, this is one of those little tab cards that come out of the little photos, but she can make notes on that. Piece of wallpaper. This I also purchased from uh, Johnny over at Junk Journal Shop. And I just folded it over and made a big pocket and just put some little um, pieces in there. Another one of the tab pages. Another recipe um, card. And the ones like this that have the paper, I cut these down from bigger, um, like the Project Life 12 by 12 pages. And then I just cut off the four by six, the two four by six on that particular page. And where the holes um, are, I just took scraps of the paper and stitched that on so that I could add it into here. And um, you can use these types of pages in so many different ways. And even with the pieces that you have left over, you can make pockets out of them or do little tip-ins with photos or whatever. Just really, really um, lots of things you can do with those pages, not just what they're intended for. So this is some uh, just tea dyed like college rule paper, writing paper. This came from, this video might be long, y'all, because I think there's like 76 pages in here. Um, 76 pieces, you know. So, this came from a um, really pretty little recipe book that I still have a ton of it left. Uh, and I just, I love the, I love the images in it. Just really colorful. So, this is another scrapbook um, piece, and I just cut a little circle, and this was a little sticker and I just stitched down here. This is not a tuck, that's that's all adhered right there, but I thought it was this little girl was cute. This is fresh. Another tab. Um, oh, I gotta go back and add a few more things in here. <clears throat> so, I just put little pieces, some little tabs, some little stamps. These are little tags that came in Rosemary's little kit, more tabs. Um, just little things I had in my stash. One of those little metal pieces that I bought when I was in Texas. Here's the other piece of that, you know, kind of vintage uh, food pieces that were in the cookbook. And I just stitched down um, on this straw. This is that straw paper. And made it like a little, you know, kind of like a little tab. I thought it was really cute. So this came from <clears throat> my preservatives book. And <clears throat> since I had, I put several things like lemon related in here. And I thought the back was pretty cool too. I love these old pages. Another tab, 
I just clipped another little tag and a little piece um, from the scrapbook paper. And this is an old recipe um, from an old recipe book about souffle. More recipe cards. Now, on a couple of these, I don't know if you can see in here, like this one, there's a couple of these recipe cards I made. I took some of the stickers from that paper, um, that cooking paper line that I bought, and I don't have it in front of me. If y'all have any questions, just leave me leave me a message and I will um, tell you where, I, where this paper's from. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it comes with a big 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And so I just took a couple of the stickers onto an index card and then I stitched across them just to kind of give it, you know, I thought I thought they turned out kind of cute. I did a couple of those. I think there's one back here that had the, yeah, I like this one. <clears throat> I took the little thing that says serious foodie and put the knife and fork and spoon there and stitched across it. Some, some uh, another old recipe page. And then I uh, stuck some of these little fun little recipe cards that we all like in here. Here I had this, um, this was an interesting little piece and I don't remember where, I don't remember where I got it from. And I apologize for the light, y'all. I know my lighting's not great today. So this is like a little, a little folder. Um, and it's kind of an apartment unit file and she can cover that up. But I took some stickers and covered up some of the other things on here. But it was like a fold out little folder. And I thought, well, that's cute. She could put a lot of notes or recipes here. And then, so it already flipped like that. And then when I stitched it in, I just stitched it here and here. So behind there creates a pocket right here. And then I just took, I thought this was really a fun little um, kids cookbook. And it's rules, some of the rules of cooking here and just some other fun pages from, and recipes from that book. And I just tucked it, tucked them right back here and then clipped it up here. So I just think that was neat. And then this flips out, so you got all this space in here and all this space over here. Another um, piece of that backing of wallpaper. So this looks a little more modern. <laughs> this to me looks very, you know, looks vintage. <clears throat> but she can cover this up this would be fun to, um, this might be fun to kind of gesso on and then write something over or do another collage. More writing paper, another recipe. I just stapled a little cooking is love piece from the scrapbook paper. Another um, large recipe card, pocket, more little tags and pieces that she can use. Um, another, this is a, this is baking tips from that other little recipe book with the really pretty images and I thought that would be cool on here. Just to give her some little tips. And then some, um, there's a tort and a glaze recipe on the back of here. Another really cool lemon, um, like drinks from um, one of my cookbooks. Another scrapbook page. And this says, Welcome to My Garden. And it's got like a little poem with a little chicken on it. I just stitched that on there. Another file folder with a pocket made out of some fabric that was in uh, those kits I bought from Renee that I'm gonna tell you, I still have, still have a lot of that. When you buy a kit from her, it's insane. There's just so much stuff. So there's a little bag here I stuck in here. And then this says dishes. I thought that was cute and just uh, another recipe card, an old recipe for butter, buttermilk pie. I love these. I love looking at other folks' um, handwriting and then another little tie. <clears throat> we kept the back of that plane. Um, tried not to, you know, overdo it. This is a little, um, this is another book page. It's really pretty you know, orangey, lemony um, images, and then some more recipe cards and blank index cards. Another, um, this is from a vintage book as well. 
this also has equivalent measures um, and some abbreviations on here. Another really pretty image from the, um, the other little recipe book I have. All different kinds of recipe books in here. Uh, this is another one of those little flips I made and I just thought she was um, really, really cute. And um, I just stitched around in white, kind of did some random stitching there on the front of that. And then in here, you can see the stitching. Here I put a little recipe card and I stitched around that and it's actually a pocket. So she can tuck a little note in there. And this just goes over this pocket right here. And of course I put her clips and paper clips and things like that for her to use in here. Another recipe um, card page. Here's another one of the ones I made with the little stickers and did some stitching. <clears throat> another little um, pocket, more recipes. Another file folder and I just took some um, vintage images in here from books and then this is a hidden paper clip so that's that side of it and then on the other side there's a little envelope um that has just some little pieces in here with a little heart as the closure there and then i just took some more of these little um recipe cards on the back another wallpaper pocket more recipes Another flip, um, this is some watercolor paper that I tea dyed. And then I made another one of those little flips, same, the same way. Put some little um, scrapbook paper and um, stickers and fabric. And I didn't put, uh, I didn't go in here and put a lot of buttons on things like I normally do when I make those kind of embellishments because I, um, it, you know, it's kind of bulky already but I did put her some extra little buttons if she wants to to use those in here another page pocket more um, recipes tucked in here had a little envelope and I thought this little fellow was so cute it looks like a little farmer um, so I embellished that and stitched around it and then there's a vintage milk cap on the back and it, that closes it there's nothing in there right now and she can put things in there. I think that's the only thing I didn't put anything in. And then this is another flip out. And I just did a little ruffle. Stitched that on there. And there's a little, um, there's a little coffee uh -huh. <laughs> clip there. And so I just tucked this little tag that says cuddle up with a cup of goodness on this side. Another really pretty uh, pocket uh, page made out from a... Um, book this might have been a ideals book or one of my cookbooks i don't know another recipe this is um this is a pocket this way i didn't put anything in there another pocket here on the file folder and this was scrapbooking paper and then i put another old recipe in here and a recipe card and i mean you know she may not she may actually she could take half of this out probably and make another recipe book so here's another one of the little um cards that i made with the stickers and then more recipe ton 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 of ton of recipe places in this book which is supposed to be here's a little card a little um sewn pocket and then this flips out again and this is another one of my little pockets that i made and so it's a tuck back here, and I put her some little SNH green stamps and then an old recipe in this pocket. Another pocket, more fun stuff. These are um, these are from Graphics Fairy, and I thought these would be fun to use as little tabs or tucks in here wherever she wants to. But I wanna give her some options of using those. And then I think this was um this was a paper that was in Rosemary's kit and I thought it was cool so I added it in here and then another pocket um, that has this little farmer boy with the little chicken and this was one that I had made um, previously but I just stuck him in here and he's also so he's a pocket here and a tuck here 
but I just thought he fit really well in here. And then that is the last, that's the general index page. And then here's the pocket on the back where I use this <clears throat> um, towel, this kitchen towel. It was in really good shape. I love the colors. And I just backed it um, with some of my linen that I have that big piece of linen, that tablecloth that I bought when I was in Texas. And then I stuck some other things back here. So that is the Chunky Monkey Cookbook. And uh, I hope she likes it. I had a lot of fun making it. And um, I'm just very grateful for her patience because I was supposed to have it done. You know, I told her I'd have it done in October and that just didn't happen. So, but anyway, so that is the cookbook and it was a lot of fun to make and I hope she enjoys it. I did enjoy making it. It took me longer than what I had thought, but um, anyway, so I do have some other, yeah, 26 minutes. <laughs> I do have some other journals that are um, almost finished. I'll give you a look. Oh, you just hit my knee. Um, give you a little sneak peek. Hang on, I had to walk away from my desk. So, I pretty much just have to add the charms to these. So there's this one and this Mother Goose one. Um, just working on a few more details for those. And um, I got this one. I started this one when I was working on the um, heritage one for myself so this one will be coming up soon in the shop I've got um, a few more things to add to it and I will probably put a charm on it so be on the lookout for those coming up soon in the shop okay and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day love you guys see you soon bye